Mm -hmm. I can try to do it, but if my head and my heart ain't into it, mm -hmm. that's gonna be on the back. Now I'm gonna put what's important on the front. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this: Did you did 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 any anybody have the mindset of well? I'm gonna try. I really want. I know I need to. Or was everybody was like, "Man, look, I'm out and I'm about to do me." Was it? I'm the I'm out try. and I'm about to do <laughs> me. <laughs> I, I, I tried on Sunday. On Sunday. Right, like I'll, I'll go on. Yeah, Sunday I would go. I would go to like like the little Christian mm -hmm. group, you know, on Sundays and stuff like that. But like that was kind of that was kind of making myself feel better about like what I did that whole weekend. So <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't like genuine. Yeah. I have to pee. I went on Sunday, and then sometimes I'll come home, and then you know, bring people with me. You know, I'm doing a good thing right there. <laughs> but I thought, well, right. I mean, when you get into your, your schoolwork, your major, everything, your crazy schedule, it's just like I do not want to wake up that day to go talk to the Lord. Right. He know how I am. But for college, me, the uh, I just focused in, focused in on my studies, did what I had to do. Of whatever. Of course, they had some some relationship that had to come up out of nowhere. <laughs> but that, even through that, that has taught me a lot about myself and stuff like that. And even when COVID hit, and I was still in school, that was the hardest time ever because I was at home oh, taking. Yeah. I was four, a full time student at home online and a full time worker, and I just. <laughs> couldn't do that one right there. So it it, it took it took a lot of discipline and mm -hmm. frustrations and prayer and a whole lot of self-care days because <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was a it, you can I can try to do it but if my head and my heart ain't into it mm -hmm. that's gonna be on the back now I'm gonna put what's important on the front yeah I think I think just the hardest part is just what type of relationship you have with God going into it it could it the various levels like 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 Erica said she was Christian for a whole year I know people who was crazy for a day. Went out, there, <laughs> went out there the next day was like, man, this is fun. I'm loving it. I'm good. So it's kind of just based on relationship and just college schedules can definitely be very busy with mm -hmm. school and waking up early and studying and stuff. But I guess like having like genuine time with like talking to God or spending time in your word would, would definitely probably help because a lot of times, like we said, we're coming from here. A lot of times you weren't really being genuine going to church, stuff like that, because it was so routine. So when we got to college, you don't have that routine anymore. It's kind of like, man, do I really have a relationship with God or was I just going because my parents are telling me or was I just going because there's nothing else to do? And so I guess that's what you figure out when you're in college and sometimes you get a better relationship with God or you just, you lose it or you're somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was coming home every weekend. Right, and I, and I, still, I was by myself. I was, I, <laughs> was like, we right here. I, <laughs> I was coming home every weekend because at first, my first, within my <clears> first semester, I was by myself in a, and I, I come from a, we not a big family, but we loud and it's a lot going on. I couldn't take that mm -hmm. quiet, especially not being in there over the weekend. Mm -hmm. So I was like, mom, dad, come get me. I'ma work and I'ma go to church and then I'll go back to school. But I was just like, even coming back every weekend, I still didn't, really wasn't truly pursuing like a relationship with God. I feel like it's not necessarily always cause you're in college, it's like a mindset and like a heart thing. Like I can be here every day and still really not want it mm -hmm. if my mind and my heart isn't set on it. So yeah, I wouldn't say cause because I have no friends in college other than myself. It wasn't the people, it wasn't no um, peer pressure. It was me. Mm -hmm. I was just, I just didn't want it at the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what would y'all tell y'all 16 year old self today? Slow down, sister. Life is not easy. Take your time. Stop trying to keep up with the, not said keep up with the Joneses as far as like clothes or anything like that, but just like, we always wanted to kind of, oh man, I missed this. They was out here doing this, so they was out here doing that. I'm just at home or something like that. Kind of just, it's probably better you was at home. Most of the people in high school, you look back at them now when you're in, you're grown, they ain't, they're doing the same stuff or they, they got a bunch of children who and they can't take care of them or they they dead. Mm -hmm. So it's kinda like maybe it's good you wasn't out there, you know, just kinda be content where you at. Be understand that it's it's for your it's for your goods and work out for you. Um, I think that she, <coughs> I would tell her that don't let society play a big part in your life. And especially um I was uh, in public school 
about around that time. And so um, you don't let, by going to church and going to public school, you don't let your peers at school that know that that wasn't for the Lord or nothing, don't let them influence you so much to where you'll be like, well, eh, I'm gonna just do this with them. And I'm, I still go to church, so it's like, it'll even out. Like, if I do this and I go to church, it, it'll cover that. So um, you just gotta stay strong with it. It might seem hard, it might even feel alone. Like, it's gonna be alone um, sometimes, but God got you, he's always got you back. Oh, my God. <laughs> I guess I will tell my 16-year-old self, like, all of your friendships and everybody that you're with at the time, they aren't necessarily forever. God put people in your life for a certain time, mm -hmm. for a certain purpose, to teach you something. Mm -hmm. And so, like, don't um, hold tight to... Because it, it could be just one person, like, you think that my... That's my ace boom cool. Like, we gonna ride this thing out, right? Nah, that's not always it. Right. Um, yeah, because friendships are tricky. For sure. And they don't tricky. last. I mean, some of them last if it's who God wants you to be friends with, if that's right. who he wants you to have a lasting, long relationship with. <clears throat> but all of your friendships aren't gonna be like that. Does it make it any less important <laughs> just for that season, it might be really Everybody important for that season, right? Mm -hmm. exactly. I gotta go this way, you go. Right, mm -hmm. it's all love at the end of the day. Uh, I said myself, slow down, you're fine. Don't rush, everything will come when it comes. Just be cool and just stay out of your head. You could, good things come when you wait. Mm -hmm. So that's what I got to myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any last encouraging words to anyone that thank you much? <laughs> Man, just keep keep your head up, keep keep pushing through whatever storm you're going through, whatever valley you in, like Pastor just talked about. And um just you gotta grow through you gotta grow in the valley. Just what your wife was talking about during praise and worship. You gotta you gotta grow in the valley. If you're not growing in the valley, when you get to that if you get to that mountaintop, you, you may not appreciate it or you may not be up there very long. So just grow grow in your valley. Mm -hmm. Even if uh, you can't find the one your age that you can like um, talk to. It's always good to find someone older that has more wisdom and that can, that even went through whatever situation going through that you can, they always will have your back. Just, not just express yourself. Don't hold anything <laughs> back because it's going to eat you up inside. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard to think God is listening to you no matter how much you pray, because I struggle with that. Like, is he listening? Like, this stuff is still going on with me in my life. Like, where are you at? Mm -hmm. I need help. But it's, it's okay, like, to not be okay, like I said. It's okay to, even though you're talking to somebody, it's okay to cry. If you have to get up from a group of people and just go in the bathroom or cry somewhere else, just do that. Mm -hmm. And keep your faith in God and stuff will work out for you. Right. Like don't do not leave God. He's he's all you need. And if you can't find nobody to talk to, if your friend, your close friend not there, you always have God to talk to. He he is listening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's clap it up. Woo!